then our suffering system is going to reduce to the blood, which is what bicarbonate reaction is kind of fine tuning of that acid base balance. And the bulk of the acid base balance relies or relies on that renal system. So that's why we are discussing the acid base balance when we talk about the renal system. And let's start with what's called metabolic alkalosis. Metabolic alkalosis means that you have high concentration of bicarbonate in the blood uh, due to the loss of, and the loss of hydrogen ions actually. So here, if you can see, we have a primary cause, and the primary cause is prolonged vomiting, for example, as an example of metabolic acid alkalosis. So the vomiting means that you are losing the hydrogen ions that you have in the stomach, which will be replaced by hydrogen ions from the blood, and that will cause the tension of bicarbonate to the blood stream. So we have opposite direction of the hydrogen and bicarbonate. That's why we have what's called metabolic alkalosis. And here, as you can, if you can see also, the gastric mucosa attempts to replace the loss of, or the loss of the hydrogen ions by the carbonic anhydrase reaction with hydrogen or sorry, water with the carbon dioxide to carbonic acid in order to have more acid to replace the one that you lost through the vomiting. So the compensation will be through different systems, the whole bloodstream buffering system had become already defective because you are actually retaining bicarbonate rather than the, uh, compensation. And the renal system, sorry, the respiratory system is starting the process of hypoventilation in order to reduce the loss of the carbonic acid in order to cause or to compensate the alkalosis by generation of acidosis. However, the renal system is responsible for the rest of the process of the buffering of the or compensation of the metabolic alkalosis and it happens by the filtration of bicarbonate through the renal system. So, Vice versa. This is the capillary system, and this is the retention of the bicarbonate from the renal system that will cause actually uh, metabolic alkalosis. So this is one of the causes that, or the, the process that will cause uh, metabolic alkalosis. And uh, uh, the, the, the compensation mechanism will be by reversing this direction of the reaction. It means that you are going to lose. Uh, bicarbonate, and instead of that, you are retaining the hydrogen ions in order to compensate metabolic acidosis. In the process of metabolic acidosis, means that you have source of hydrogen ions, cause high concentration of hydrogen ions in the body, and this is the primary cause of metabolic acidosis. And usually, the bicarbonate is, is responsible for the fine tuning buffering system, and then the respiratory system will start to do hyperventilation in order to compensate the process. And this is very important here, what you will see when we have metabolic acidosis in the bloodstream test, the whole ABG, or arterial blood gases. And I think Victor uh, Sahem described this somehow. Okay, I think Dr. Muhammad will describe this maybe. Okay, these are the parameters that you will see when you have metabolic acidosis. So uh, you have to take blood as much uh, as you can in a, in a short time. I mean, as put as much to the laboratory in order to do what's called arterial blood gases. And this is one of the most important parameters that you have to pay attention when you measure the arterial blood gases. Uh, arterial blood gases parameters or tests actually measures the pH and partial pressure of carbon dioxide and oxygen. And uh, this test is sensitive. And then you have to send it uh, as put as much to the lab by glass syringe and in a cold condition. Because all of these will affect the parameters in the blood itself. It will change the pH, it will change the partial pressure of the oxygen, and it will cause kind of misdiagnosis. 
بيتسايد انسترومنت يعني كل الناس اللي عندهم مشاكل متوقعه بالسيرفر سيستم او كومبليكيشن معينه سو ذير ار اي بي جي يونت اللي هو بيتسايد يسموه اور بنش توب واي الانسترومنت صارت صغيره كان زمان كبير شوي So when we have metabolic acidosis, so the process is simply to release the hydrogen ions to the urine and then retain bicarbonate, which vice versa of the metabolic acidosis. So uh, basically what you are going to release the bloodstream in order to uh, get rid of the hydrogen ions. And this happens by the carbon dioxide diffusion and the carbon dioxide will be converted to carbonic acid and then The carbonic acid continuously would be uh, 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 cleaved to hydrogen ion or actually ionized hydrogen ions and bicarbonate. Bicarbonate will be transported back to the bloodstream, and because you are transporting back anion, it will be uh, accompanied with cation in the sodium. Hydrogen ions, I think we described this somewhere, you know, it will be burning condition or burning solution if it's released. As is to the blood surge to the urine system. With the benzene, the hydrogen ions, purely the process of the horn as uh, a product of uh, uh, ionization of carbonic acid, it will burn the renal system or the tubular system. So, in order to have a buffering system inside the urinary system or the tubular cell or tub tubules of the renal system, you have to release uh, uh, these uh, alkaline or uh, kind of Buffering molecules, which are the ammonium ions. These ammonium ions are responsible for the tolerance of the acidity of the uh, hydrogen ions that you release in the tubules of the renal system, as well as releasing of the phosphate ions. Okay, and there are two molecules that are responsible for the buffering of hydrogen ions in the renal tubules. And this happens actually because we are trying to release the hydrogen ions as well as uh, reabsorption of the Uh, bicarbonate molecules. And all of these statements that I described are there. The primary cause and the buffering system, the compensation mechanism, and partial compensation and complete compensation. Partial compensation, you are trying to normalize the pH or buffer the pH, but you did not reach the actual concentrations of the ions that you have our conditions based on the acid about. الـ pH زي ما بنعرف تعتمد على الـ pK value للبقر بالإضافة لـ concentration of conjugate base على الأسد هاي المعادلة البسيطة اللي هو هندرسن هذا الباس في الوزن sometimes you could reach the pH but the actual number اللي هو الـ conjugate base أو الأسد نفسه you did not reach that actual concentration بضل الـ concentration بتفكتك you have the ratio corrected That's the ratio of 1 to 20 in terms of the bicarbonate and carbonic acid, if you remember that. The ratio has to be stable, but you have a defect in the actual concentration of these molecules. This is called partial compensation. Okay? When you reach the complete compensation or full compensation, it means that everything is okay. The pH as well as the concentration and the ratio of the uh, molecules. This is the, how we differentiate between the partial and full compensation. هذا شيء اخر متعلق بالبيكنسي والجينيتكس او المولكيولار بيولوجي اوف ذا رينو سيستم وي هاف تو منشن ذات از ان اكزامبل بيكوز وي هاف ا لوت اوت اوف اكزامبلز اللي هو الترانسبورتيشن سيستم ان ذا رينو سيستم اوف سيرتن امينو اسيد وي هاف كايند اوف كومون بيس اللي بدك تجربها هي او كومون ترانسبورتر ذات ار ديزاين تو ترانسبورت مور ذان ون امينو اسيد فور اكزامبل وي هاف سيت كايند اوف ترانسبورتر which actually reabsorb cysteine, uh, which is actually uh, cysteine, which is the dimer of amino acid cysteine. Hala, in, in fact, it's cysteine, ornithine, arginine, and lysine. They are transported by one transporter. And in order to remember that, it's abbreviated as cool, if you would, the transporter for a group of amino acids. Why you have such kind of transporter? It's actually to reabsorb the amino acids and the filtration the renal system. Why is that? Because your body is not designed to lose the amino acids. Amino acids should be stored or should stay in the bloodstream. So in that country, then it's more amino acid pool. Is it a hack? Amino acids are not just the 20 percent of the protein. 
you have a lot of beta like more than 300 amino acid molecules that you could use that type of gel amino acid into amino acid. So as you can see here, we have the ornithine, which is another amino acid that is involved in the uh, urea cycle. And why we have just one transporter for a group of amino acids, it's kind of efficiency. Instead of having many transporters, it's better to have one transporter for a group of similar amino acids, if you would, in order to save the uh, space and to be more efficient. Because it will cause another problem. If you have defects, you will have all the amino acids. So, and as an example of what's called cyanuria, it's caused by efficiency in this transporter, the whole cool transporter system in the renal system, in the tubules or tubular cells, and it's located or localized in the proximal convoluted tubules. If this transporter is defective because of mutation, if you can then it's going to be disorder that is associated with uh, this kind of disease, it will cause accumulation of sign in the urine and it will cause uh, circular actually uh, formation. Okay? So generally we have seven known different transporters for the amino acids that you might ha have in the bloodstream, which covers all uh, types of amino acids that have to be absorbed. Alexisthine urea uh, could be a genetic uh, associated disease, in the who was called transporter genetic. And this kind of disease as a genetic disease, the frequency of our one actually, that means that it's highly frequent as a genetic code. Let's say the alexisthine urea is a bit self-reliant. It is always stoned in the renal system. Yeah. Right. Accumulation and then crystallization nuclear is the move. Okay. It will cause crystallization and then in the future it will be uh, kidney stones or cells alive. Okay. Uh, so it's caused by a defect in the transportation system and it's better to drink water in order to get rid or actually to uh, minimize the effects of the deficiency in this transportation system. And other slide is about just another description of the earlier uh, things that we described in the whole metabolic acidosis and metabolic acidosis, how the system is compensating these things. But let's not move to the reference panel and let's have some little data for certain statements. Okay. 